Hello, Steve here, Concierge Health Advisor. Ooh, autoimmune disease series continued. I mentioned that um, I'm going to cover two particular so-called uh, autoimmune diseases each uh, episode, each recording, each yada yada, right? Um, today, Hashimoto's disease and lupus. I've covered lupus under the celebrity uh, series. Ooh, all these series um, under Selena Gomez. So just basically quickly with lupus, regular listeners, regular subscribers, regular people that uh, uh, seek my treatments and that sort of thing. Yeah. Not many of them, but I'm sure it'll grow over the next half century because I'm a half century now and I really think that I'll be active for another half century. So watch this space, watch this space. Anyway, uh, so with lupus, gluten intolerance. Um, not a blaring gluten intolerance. It's more of a gluten sensitivity issue. And uh, the whole intolerance which feeds into the whole celiac disease yes we've got we do have um, ways to uh, monitor or test for that but the reality the reality is that 98 percent of us are gluten insensitive or sensitive to gluten to gluten in what particular way i'll tell you our um how gluten um, damages the villi in our small intestine. Gluten is a pro-inflammatory cytokine which drip, 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 year over the year, over year decade after decade, it damages the villi in the small intestines and does most of the absorption of the micronutrients that we require to live. If we don't get enough of those micronutrients, we get diseases and sometimes those autoimmune diseases. Ah! What a concept. So, with lupus, that's the telltale. With all autoimmune disease, that's the telltale. Gluten sensitivity concern, right? Uh, but with lupus, it, um, it's a sulfur high correlation. This is usually there's a lot. Uh, if you have a particular chronic disease, and in this case, uh, autoimmune disease, and in this case, lupus. It's a signature that there's a lot of other uh, micronutrient deficiencies that are going on. But uh, number one is um, sulfur. Number two is selenium, which are high correlates with uh, lupus. And Selena Gomez um, apparently is suffering from, from that. So uh, it's not just Selena, but that's where I cover, it's covered in, in the Selena Gomez um, celebrity series, celebrity health series um, video. So. That's that, okay, so that's the high correlation. So you may not only be deficient in selenium and sulfur, don't just go and buy those two if you are suffering from lupus. Even if you give up gluten, which it includes oats as well, but that's, I've, I don't want to rehash that. I rehash that too often. Oats is also gluten. So if you're stopping gluten and intaking uh, more sulfur and selenium to treat your lupus and then you come back and say it hasn't worked yeah six months later you it hasn't worked that's that's the caveat that's the, um, the the indicator part that I'm trying to get at if there's a high correlation that you're um, selenium and sulfur deficient uh, more accurately absorption wise so you're not absorbing selenium enough selenium and sulfur and that's why you have um, uh, lupus because of the whole uh, gluten insensitivity um, gluten sensitivity issue so uh, you might be deficient in many other micronutrients but the, the, those indicators probably won't do the full 100%, it's probably going to address 40%. 40% is still quite a lot. So, you know, you might be uh, deficient in other um, micronutrients that are um, co-components. Uh, 
cofactors in getting selenium to work in the cells and that sort of thing. And usually copper, um, chromium, vanadium is part of this. And, um, we don't know for sure, but all we know is the high correlates. If there's an autopsy done with someone that suffers um, lupus, we'll know because we've known in the past. Uh, we, we know that uh, they're deficient in selenium and sulfur. Um, it's very unlikely that uh, we're going to test the villi because we haven't really done that in the past, but that's what's really happening. So that's lupus. Hashimoto's disease. It's not a autoimmune, well, okay, it's an autoimmune disease. It's part of the ICD-10, this and that code, which the whole health organization is, um, yeah, part of the 84,000 diseases that the humans have. And, uh, so Hashimoto's are, or, you know, the accurate, the, what's really going on with Hashimoto's is, uh, low thyroid function, low levels of thyroid, um, hormone, uh, functioning, right? And, uh, usually, iodine issues with Hashimoto's, right? It's not genetic. So lupus and Hashimoto, Hashimoto's and all the, the rest of the autoimmune disease complex is not genetic. It's not our choices, food choices, lifestyle choices. It is micronutrient deficiencies. Indirectly, it is our lifestyle choices, but it's an unknowing thing. Um, being human is a... Uh, a choice that is thrust upon us these days and uh, what's also thrust upon us these days in, in the human condition is our food supply chain isn't um, hasn't got the full gamut the full scope of minerals that we require um, to function day to day as we once used to oh but we've doubled our life expectancy yeah yeah, yeah. we know we know um, our decrepit life expectancy hasn't really changed for centuries. Um, yes, we've doubled our life expectancy from 1900, but not from 1850. From 1850, it hasn't moved. We're probably even going south now. Like our, um, don't expect our life expectancy to go over 80. Don't expect it to go into 100 in 100 years, for example. Is my prediction well not mine but I concur with this prediction that it's going south even the CDC stated this in 2004 so there you go uh, the, C yeah, the CDC actually stated, um, predicted that uh, each um, preceding generation each ongoing generation uh, from the current generation will be will have a lower our life expectancy and the generation before they didn't they didn't reference micronutrient deficiencies but I suspect that's what they're getting at so my dear viewer listener iodine for Hashimoto's it's not just getting iodized salt oh but salt don't let me start with the salt oh, we need we need more salt in our diet to uh, to attend to the uh, uh, the whole um, hypochlorhydria issue, which uh, which is really what's happening with um, our increase uh, the epidemic of um, gastric reflux. Gastric reflux medication is the number one seller um, drug class in the world. We need to basically be increasing our salt intake. Salt does not harden our arteries. Salt doesn't... In, uh, uh, I don't want to make this a salt episode either. There's plenty of material in my podcasts. And I think I've got a video in there somewhere as well. But um, really we should be increasing our salt intake uh, to digest our food better. To then get more micronutrients in. That'll be made easier by... Uh, giving up the gluten, but also what I mentioned with the lupus don't just get sulfur um, Selenium and give up gluten. You also need to uh, cease cease 
oils, sugars and nitrates, nitrites, and then, and only then, you can say, yep, I'll be on the right track to um, address my lupus. And in this case, <laughs> I don't. Um, Hashimoto's disease, hypothyroidism, hypo meaning low thyroid function, which is, you know, feeds into the whole um, weight issue, uh, hormones, and, uh, infertility, and uh, you know, there's a whole array of complex um, uh, thyroid function type issues which feed into all this. So, so my dear reader, reader, listen of your, um, that's where we are with Hashimoto's and in this case uh, lupus in these examples. So, um, my services are now charged, I'm sorry, but there is uh, free options there, waiting through all the free material. And um, that's one of the things you can do with um, lupus and Hashimoto's, okay? Um, get off gluten, oils, sugars, nitrates, nitrites, um, and uh, supplement with the 90 micronutrients, 90 essential micronutrients that we require. There's 90 that are declared essential. And uh, it's not just uh, take a bit of potassium, take a bit of uh, magnesium. Um, oh yes, he said to have iodized salt to address my um, Hashimoto's, but it's not enough. Um, it'll help. It won't uh, cure. Our aim here is to cure. And if you um, gain my paid services, uh, you'll be cured. If not cured, like 99% gone, um, because you, you're better nourished. You're better nourished. I've, I've got rid of half a dozen um, chronic illnesses in my um, journey. <laughs> um, I had to take matters into my own hands because um, my statistically I was going to die in one and a half decades, but now I've uh, pretty much extended my life by an extra you know, 30 years, I, I believe. So I've rather than living only one and a half decades, I'll probably live another four and a half decades. So anyway, that's just my own testimony and um, uh, you can take it or leave it. Those um, lupus and Hashimoto's uh, sufferers which choose to listen to this. But uh, there it is, there it is. All the best in your pursuits if you say I'm full of doo-doo. But uh, there it is. Okay, have a good day everyone, bye.